Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to get started with the first part of our Arduino Foundation series. So if you're not into, you know, the super beginner stuff and you want to go watch something else, that's cool. We'll catch you next time. But hey, I want to watch it anyway. Could learn something. So you're just getting started with Arduino. And one of the most common things you're going to experiment with are LEDs. So there's a couple of things that you need to know just so you don't blow up your LEDs or damage your Arduino. The first one is most LEDs are rated at somewhere around 20 milliamps. Hard to say for those ones, you know, you get bulk like these from some completely unknown distributor. So we, you don't really know what their specs are. But on average, you could say 20 milliamps is a good place to be. You're going to find 20 milliamps, number one. It's pretty bright. Okay. So I like to dim that down a little bit. Also, what we have to do is to keep in mind the total current rating of not just the single pin we've attached the LED to, but the overall pin of the Arduino as well. I mean, the overall Ar <laughs> the overall current handling of the Arduino itself. Sorry, I get tongue-tied sometimes. That magic number is 40 milliamps. 40 milliamps per pin is the maximum, and you definitely shouldn't be drawing 40 milliamps per pin on the Arduino, or eventually it's going to overheat. Now, you also have to keep in mind the total current, which would be 400 milliamps. So everything you have connected to your Arduino, I'm talking in todo el mundo, it has to be 200 milliamps. Or, yeah, 200 milliamps. 400. Jeez, Paul. 400 milliamps or less. All right? So let's get started with one of the most simple things you can do, which is to hook an LED up to your Arduino. That's a red LED. And kind of take a notice of its brightness level. I've got a 330 uh, ohm resistor in there to limit the current. And now what I can do is show you what that's pulling. We'll put a... Uh, multimeter in current mode here in the serial path and you can see we're pulling about oh, it fell off didn't it <laughs> little stinker all right try that again so right about nine milliamps with the 330 ohm resistor all right, so let's take out the red LED, and we'll put in a yellow one. Tongue-tied, finger-tied. <laughs> All right, so there's our yellow one. Pulling about the same as the red. You can see the brightness level there. Okay, then we'll go to green, green is pulling less, but it is much brighter. For instance, here's what we'll do, we'll grab the red, we'll grab the red one. And I'll sit it over here. And we will grab another 330 ohm resistor. And we'll put it in its place. Grab another jumper here. Now look at that. That red LED 
is glowing just as brightly as it was before. But because that green one is so bright, you can barely see it. So what you might want to end up doing is a little bit of balancing. So that was a 330. Let's go with a 510 and see what that does. Well, look at that. Something wrong with that pin. Because I set up all these. Thanks. Let's plug that back in. Now let's put the 510 resistor in and see if that uh, might help them a little bit. See, that's balanced them out quite a bit more. And you can see now we're only drawing 4.4 milliamps. Could you imagine five times more output? It would almost blind you, especially, especially if you put in a blue LED which are incredibly bright. Look at that. Let's see what the blue one's drawing. Blue one is drawing 6.5 milliamps. Okay. So we've rambled on about this. Let me set something up here for you. All right, I shut off a lot of the lights in here. And I set up our four LEDs, red, yellow, green, and blue, with 330 ohm resistors. And yeah, you really can't even tell what color they are, can you? <laughs> Let me bring some more lights back here. Now you can see a little bit better. So, the yellow is the dimmest, the blue and the green are the brightest. So, let's take uh, 680 and put that on the blue. Now that's a little better. And I think... Do a 510 on the green. Yep, we go all the way up. I'm going to go the 680 on the green as well because it is uh, super bright. And then once we're done with this, we will measure all of our currents. Put it in the right place, Paul. Okay, that's a bit better. And then if I shut the lights off again, you, know, you can almost, <laughs> you can almost make out some colors, but there you go. All right, so let's bring our meter up. Zoom out here a little bit so you can see. We are still in the correct mode. So we don't need all of these now. So our red, we haven't changed anything. It's still at 330. Still right around nine. Our yellow is also at 330. And it's about half. You could lower the yellow maybe down to 220. Okay. Now here's our changes. Here's the green. Three and a half. See, we got that even lower than the yellow. And the blue. Three point three. So we're looking at 
Well, let's say six points of quad seven plus 18. So what, 25 milliamps total on the entire Arduino. So that in itself is not bad at all. But I guess what I wanted you to get from this was just pay attention to how much current you're asking the Arduino to either source or sync. Source means to put out. Sync means to absorb in. Okay. We'll get into more of that later. Just remember, 40 milliamps max per pin. Keep it around 20, okay? I don't want things getting hot. 400 milliamps max over the entire Arduino. All right. So now you know how to use and balance LEDs with your Arduino. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't use my normal 01 meter for today, I like this meter as well as the 01, and this one just shows up better on camera. That's the only reason. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.